Please hope you're well. I thought I'd just give you a quick overview of what I call workshop two, which is this shed that we have in the garden over in our property in the west of France. And the reason I want to give you a bit of an overview is I think next year, 2023, I'm going to start to actually do some work on this and make it a proper workshop. At the moment, it's just a bit of a dumping ground. But when we bought the house in 2006, the barn came to pretty much here. So pretty much chopped two thirds of it off because we just didn't have the view from the house down the garden. Me and brother-in-law at the first Christmas we had here demolished it. I've got some photographs of that so I'll find them. And then we just block this end up. At the moment this is just our gardening compost bins and a little bit of firewood. And I put a window in in 2020. Uh, which actually was the old bathroom window from the house and then we put these roof sheets on actually the tin sheet roof is still underneath which is a bit rusty but it actually was dry and then made this little overhang at the end so we can just sort of store some of our gardening equipment it's one of the former projects from the channel the two doors was actually off the module that was a bit further up there so i put the two doors on here and then in the middle here, I just created this little well to sit in, which the plan is to bring that concrete further forward. In the heat of the summer, it's nice to find somewhere to shade in the early afternoon and evening as the sun goes over the barn and that way, and this becomes a shady side. Then inside, over the years, I've actually concreted the floor. Usually you can probably see the strips, so every time I have a bit of spare concrete, I did a section. And then it's just full of shelves and it's become a little bit of a dumping ground. There's an old bench that I made a few years ago. Brought it here. A vice I got really cheap. The way that this is configured at the moment, unless you take everything out, it's really, really hard. And it's a bit worse than usual at the moment because we packed up to return to the UK. But of course we've got to keep the tractor mower in here. There's another couple of lawn mowers. And this bit of the floor here, I know it's really dark and you probably can't see this, but that's not concreted. So my Christmas project is to concrete that section of the floor and then the whole thing's concreted. And then I can start to reconfigure. I've also got a pair of windows that I'm going to put in the back. I'll probably do a couple of sketches just to show you what I have in place. I'm quite keen to hear what you think because I don't know whether to leave it as it is at the moment, which is two bays. I don't know whether to open it all up, get rid of that partition there or actually what i quite fancy at the moment but is a bit of a bone of contention is to partition it off along sort of this line here of that post there across here now that area is my workshop and this area is the storage and i'm fancying building in that gable end little flap so i can slide these ladders in and out because it's always a pain getting these ladders out when i need them pretty much got to empty the entire barn every time you need in my them. mind i have it all nicely dry line bright nice bright walls some nice walls for two lagging towers of festival sustainers probably i never actually get to that but that's that's how i see it in my mind or oh, electrics we've actually at the moment we've not actually got an electrics in here we've got a couple of lights in here and some sockets in here which actually there has been electrics in here in the past because there's sockets and i think the previous owner disconnected the electrics to here luckily i'm not too tall again just clear these entrances kind of finish these walls over there and finish the rendering in here so there's lots and lots to do with this thing but it's actually dry it's sound these posts there are brand new these posts here are oak actually when i felled a couple of trees down the garden a few years ago i actually set a jig up on the ladder with the router it took me ages i have to say but the barn was actually stood on these little round concrete blocks i saved it we actually got to a point where the barn was was starting to slightly go out of shape and we're losing its uh, its structural integrity so i definitely have saved it and by putting some additional timbers in the roof and then supporting the roof see here i put a new beam in scarf joint up there that i had to cut just to support these beams over these two planks but then i put a lot more timbers in the roof there weren't that many timbers in the roof originally so i've put some more in i probably could do we put in even further ones in and just in case i tile the roof eventually good thing about these sheets that are on the roof even though they look like roof tiles just a cement board 
that looks like room for it's actually got the colour in but they're actually designed and I've got all these tiles down here for these to sit over like that so then you can actually tile a full roof so the other bit as well is I was this bit of grass here this is where I usually you can see from the pile of sawdust this is where I usually pull the saw out and work here I love here working out here under the shade of the trees on a hot sunny day the bench that I made in the UK, the one that turns into two seats, is destined for here at some point, probably at Christmas. And I kind of fancy putting a little concrete pad in here just so it's level, and then I can work around here with that bench. As I said, just a brief overview, maybe plans of projects to come in 2023. I thought I'd just share them with you. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.